Hi, I'm going to be making a quick tutorial on how to turn any GIF into icons for your stream deck like so. Um, I This is my first tutorial, so I apologize if I am a bit scatterbrained. But here we go. So this is the GIF I will be using today as an example. And the first step is to open it in Photoshop. I am not sure how to do this without Photoshop, so I am so sorry if you don't have this program. But don't worry if you notice that it's not moving and it's not a GIF. It's going to open in multiple layers, but there is no headache. You only need to work on one. So the first step is to go to view at the top up here and go to new guide layout. So depending on how many keys you have, this the numbers may be different, but basically you can set up columns and rows. I have a 15 key, so I will be putting in five columns and three rows and you just press okay. So just make sure that this aligns up with how many buttons you have on your stream deck. And then you wanna go into your slice tool over here and very simple, just, you know, slice away. Make sure you're following the guidelines that you have just set with um, the ruler. And yeah, that's about it. You just you just do it for all of them, you know, however many keys you have. If you have 32, good luck. Um, it's a bit tedious, but kind of hard to mess up. I believe in you. Okay, so once you have all of your slices done, um, you just go up to file, you go up to export, save for web, and then make sure that you are on the slice select tool over here, not the hand, and just select everything. So I just hold shift, select these and these, make sure all of them are highlighted in, I guess, this brownish color, and you just press save. And it, save it into whatever folder you would like. And then you're basically done. So let's go find it in our files. So we put it into this folder over here in images. And there you go. These are all the GIFs. I find the easiest thing to do is just to shrink your um, explore into, you know, the 15 buttons. And from there, you can just drag and drop into your stream deck. But yeah, these are the actual GIFs. Um, literally, that is all you got to do. Okay, now let's say you have a GIF and you only want it to be maybe half of your buttons. You know, you don't want to take up the full rectangle, so you want to make this a square. So you just go up to image, go to canvas size. I usually like to make it a thousand just so I have some space to work with. Um, so let's say, yeah, a square. Make sure you select all your layers, control T or command T, I believe, for Mac users, and just resize it. Resize it to fit the square. Um, and then you do the same steps as before. So you go up to view, you make your guide. Again, let's say you want nine, nine buttons instead of 15 or 32. So three by three, do your slices. It'll turn out the same way. Now let's say you have a non-rectangle GIF, kind of the same steps as before. Go into image, um, canvas size, and I believe it's 720 by 576, which is a 16 to nine ratio. Um, Yep. And you just select, oh, there's so many layers. You select all the layers, uh, control T, command T, whatever it is, and just resize it to fit your canvas. And then do your slices and save. So that should be it for your beautiful Stream Deck icons. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned. Go make your lovely, aesthetically pleasing buttons.